Hey plant gang, right here I am with a plant known for its exfoliating bark, uh, peeling uh, paper-like bark, Betula nigra, the river birch. Native to the eastern United States, where I'm at in Tennessee, uh, you can find this plant in different parts of Tennessee, uh, and it's quite beautiful. Uh, in the home landscape, however, uh, it does have a little bit of things that need to be overcome. Uh, first, it drops a lot of little twigs, which is annoying for the homeowner. Uh, it is one of the first plants in late summer to drop its leaves. And so some years as early as mid-August, uh, you'll see some of the leaves turn yellow and drop off if we get into a little bit of a dry spell. Uh, so river birch tells you a lot. This is a plant, that's where you'll find it and where I've seen it in Tennessee in its native range along uh, river banks, along stream banks, and it does thrive in those areas. A lot of great cultivars, some that are considered more heat tolerant. One in particular is called Heritage. Uh, that's quite nice. Uh, but you'll see a lot of uh, birch, river birches, Betula nigra. I see them planted right up against houses a lot, which is not an ideal situation for a tree that does get quite large uh, and does drop a lot of little sticks, can get um, in gutters, that kind of stuff. Uh, so a great plant, but you want to plant it in the right spot. Betula nigra, the river birch. Uh, this is in the Betulaceae family, native again to eastern United States. Hardy from zones about four through nine. A height about 40 foot high can spread out, uh, 40 to 70 foot high actually. Uh, probably in the home landscape you're going to see this more uh, in the 30 foot range when it's uh, planted in potentially like poor soil in uh, dry land type situations, but can spread out just as wide, 40 foot wide. Um, again, some issues with a lot of little twigs falling off of this plant, early leaf drop, uh, but can be quite beautiful when planted again uh, in the right area. Uh, not drought tolerant, uh, really needs to have a good amount of moisture in, in particular during dry periods. Uh, so as we take a closer look at this, we're looking for some ID characteristics. You're going to see alternate leaf arrangement. Uh, there's quite a bit of pubescence on the petiole of the leaf and also particularly on the back side of the leaf. Uh, this is of all birches, uh, the genus Betula, this is one of the more disease resistant uh, ones that you can grow. And here's a landscape tip. Look for the cultivar heritage which has superior ornamental characteristics.